Wow, this looks pretty scary, right? We have this polynomial equation and we are going to compute x to the 20th power plus x to the 15th power plus x to the 10th power plus x to the 5th power plus 1. Oh man, how do we do it? You can try to solve x right here and then plug in and then good luck. But anyway though, I'm not going to say anything too much. Please pause the video and try this first. Done? Alright. Here's the deal. This, this, this and that, they are all based on x to the 5th power. So if we can figure what x to the 5th power is, we can actually do that computation really nicely. Right here, notice how the equation is super nice. x to the 4th power plus x to the 3rd power plus x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. I have another video showing you guys how you can solve x right here with a super cool way. Go ahead and check that out. Link will be in the description for your convenience. But right here, let's multiply both sides by x minus 1. Because by doing so, we can actually figure out the value for x to the fifth power based on this equation. If you multiply x with all that, the first term you get is x to the fifth power. And then you have all the middle terms. And then when you put negative 1 distribute into this, all the middle terms will cancel, but you also have the negative 1 times 1. So that's minus 1 here. And that's equal to 0. So in fact, we can see that x to the 5th power is equal to 1. However, you see this right here is the additional thing that we're multiplying. And of course, earlier I should have said that this times 0 is 0. But anyway though, this is the additional thing that we multiply. The truth is, we cannot say x is equal to 1. I know, I know. When we look at this, it looks like x is equal to 1. It works. But the truth is, this is a Quinty equation that actually has five roots. One is just one of them, and the other four are complex. In fact, this equation has four complex solutions, and x equals one does not work for the original. All right, so keep that in mind. But how good does this do for us, though? Well, as I said earlier, this is what we're trying to compute. So if we look at x to the 20th plus x to the 15 plus x to the 10 plus x to the 5 plus 1, well, this right here is just equal to x to the 5th power raised to the 4th power and then x to the 5th power to the 3rd power and then x to the 5th power square that and then x to the 5th power and then plus 1. Guess what? This right here, I can legitimately put in 1 in here and then the fourth power, and then 1 to the third power, and then 1 to the second power, and then 1 to the fifth power, and then 1. No, sorry, this is just 1, because x to the fifth power is 1. But you know it. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. The answer is equal to 5. Alright, 5. But again, do not plug in 1 into the x here. x equals 1 does not work for the original. But it works this because x to the fifth power is equal to 1. That's the answer right here. Hope it goes out like this. If you want to see more interesting math equations, check out my playlist over there.